Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another Warframe video. Now in today's video we're just going to be looking at Zaku and a build that if you guys are interested something for you to go ahead and aim for. Zaku is a great Warframe and I didn't realize just how good the Warframe actually was um, until you really start to break down the kit, add a little subsumption in here and there and wow. Uh, Zaku does a great job of zone control. So we're going to be looking at a very end game steel path zone control. Something that you can do solo. Something that you can do in missions like survival, defense, excavation. This build is mostly going to be used against the Grenier. You can use it against the corrupted version of the Grenier as well. So you can use it in void and against uh, or survivals like Mutt as well. It will still survive very, very well there. But you got to keep in mind things like Corpus go figure as the warframe's worst enemy uh, can always be a bit problematic with the builds but you can still run it regardless and uh, you might just need to change a thing or two there now as for the build itself and what we're going to be looking to do is we're going to be looking around zaku's third ability which is called the lost and we're going to be rotating it several times until we go and get to something called gaze here now you'll notice gaze has a defense reduction of 100 percent this basically means it can fully armor strip and in order to go ahead and achieve that, we are looking at at least a minimum of 200% ability strength. Now, you can get that in a multitude of ways. It doesn't just have to be in mods. If you can get that through arcanes, you can do it there as well. Um, there are arcanes like Molt Vigor that you can go ahead and use. Um, so you need to go and use your operator ability um, and get an extra 45%. So if you want to go and take something else out, you can do so. Um, or you can even get it through uh, focus schools as well. You can use things like Matterize uh, Sling Strength down here. Just double dash towards the ground and get an extra 40% ability strength for the next 20 seconds. So, uh, so long as you've got 200% ability strength, uh, you will be stripping enemies and removing that armor off of them. From there onwards, the rest of the kit kind of pairs in pretty well. But before we go to the rest of the kit, something else to go and notice is... Ivara's Quiver. Since we're going to be zone controlling an awful lot, we will basically go ahead and cast this on one enemy. That enemy will create a zone around them, and any enemy that comes within that zone will be removed of their defenses, mostly armor at this point. Um, if we go and use Quiver, this is a great way for us to go ahead and still remain within that enemy, uh, within that area, and the enemy being like, well, who the hell did that? <laughs> so uh, we can actually pair Quiver for zone control, and we can pair Lost with zone control to gaze, and these two together work absolute wonders. Um, from there, like I said, Zaku's kit just pairs in really well. We can use the Vast Untime. We're not really using it for survivability at this point. You can use it for survivability, but we're not. Um, the main reason why we're using Vast Untime is to actually increase the duration. We're kind of freezing the duration from the Lost. We'll also be freezing the duration from Zarda's Whisper. So it's basically a way to go ahead and increase your duration across the board for the other two abilities. So the idea is you would cast the Lost on an enemy, and then you could essentially go ahead and cast the Vast Untime, and that would freeze the duration countdown for the lost for gaze so gaze duration there is 18.55 and vast on time is 33 well that's great i can just keep recasting this and that 18.55 can last for a very very long time and um, zata's whisper is essentially just pop it on and you'll just deal extra damage in this case you'll deal an extra damage instance overall just a wonderful ability if you want to go and get some void status from it as well make sure your weaponry has good status um, from there onwards, like I said, uh, strength is your main go-to, but range. Range is really important on the build. Um, it's, entirely up to you it's entirely up to you as to how much you want to go ahead and pop on in. Uh, I'm going with 190, mostly because I don't really feel like I can fit anything else in anywhere else. I might be able to take out Rolling Guard, but Rolling Guard is a good uh, defensive mod. In case I happen to mess up, I can go ahead and quickly shift, look after myself, use Shield Gate into my advantage, and get myself back into a Quiver in case I happen to uh, cycle this bad. These two pair very well together and honestly like they would on any stealth frame you could use like a loki build and you'll understand what i mean prime shell footed is if i want to use explosive weaponry i could use things like czar i could use things like uh, uh ignis whatever else it may be or if an enemy tries to knock me down or even an eximus unit and um, prime shell footed will just go and make sure that i am okay um auras like i said you can flex between i've only just took enemy radar here because i don't need anything else um, but if you want to do like energy siphon you can do whatever fits you whatever suits you um, but range is definitely important, so do go ahead and bump that up. Don't hurt your duration, but you don't need lots of duration. So you don't really have to go ahead and focus on it too much. But like I said, don't hurt it too much, because then what will happen is you'll find yourself dropping uh, your control, and you'll have to recast it a fair bit. But since uh, efficiency is basically at 100, it's borderline, you can play around with these two values. If you want to add more range into the build, you totally can. 
Um, but at this point, I feel like the only mod that I can add in for range is overextended, which makes it a little bit harder to go ahead and put in. But you guys can always find ways to wiggle it in. As for arcanes, I've gone for more efficiency. Um, we're just basically getting more duration from the builds. And uh, that's basically near enough what we want. We're not really needing any more strength for what we got here. I mean, if you can go more strength, it's going to help Sardis Whisper. But for the most part, we don't really need more strength. So more efficiency is really good. And that's for the last arcane. This is entirely up to you. I've gone with rage because I'm actually pairing this build with a Sobek. I'll put the Sobek build up on the screen nice and quick right here. And we're using Sobek for its Ashes Shells. Um, Ashes Shells also allows a way to go and do percentile enemy max health within the 15 meter radius. So if you just go for headshots on something like this and make sure that you're running a faction mod as well, oh my goodness, it just deletes enemies within the area. It's really fun to go ahead and use uh, without it being uh, as infested into. As long as you've got the uh, Ashes Shells with a bit of multi-shot and damage, you're normally going to look pretty well. Even if you just got the lower version of the primed uh, Bane uh, Cleanse mods, you'll be good to go. So yeah, a build that I've been running lately and uh, I've really been, been enjoying it. One of my viewers recommended the pairing of Sobek into the build. So shout out to Finigo. Um, I really appreciate the, uh, the the help there. If you guys do see anything else that you guys can add to the build or any other ways that you want to go ahead and change it or alter it, then let us know inside the comment section. But as always, this video is here to just go and give you guys a bit of an end game build to go ahead and utilize. Something to go and look for for Zaku. And uh, it holds up really well. Great survivability, great offense that's mostly about it all right so thank you guys for watching today's video i really do appreciate it. i'm going to try and do these in one take and keep them as short and sweet as i possibly can but um i appreciate you guys being here hit the like hit the share leave a comment and as always subscribe for future upcoming builds but thank you guys for being here i'll see you guys again in the next video